Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey you guys, welcome back to another cash stuffing video. I'm super excited for this week's cash stuffing, but before we hop into the cash stuffing, I have some happy mail to open. So I agreed to do a collab with again, one of my favorite companies, of course. You guys already know who it is, I'm sure. I only say yes to a few companies and so I think by now you guys know what my favorites are so Julia Jewelry reached out and they are so generous you guys have no idea so this is kind of like a Mother's Day feature because I think moms can sometimes be hard to buy for so what I decided to do Julia Jewelry told me I could choose up to three pieces of jewelry and immediately in my head I'm like I know exactly who I'm giving these to so I don't know if I will no, I'll, I'll say it. So mom, if you're watching, can you stop watching if you want to be surprised on Mother's Day? But I'm going to show you what they sent me, like what I picked out. And I'm hoping that my gift giving abilities are on point. I'm so excited. Um, let me back up though, because I'm going to show you what comes in the box too. So you know what to expect. There is a little insert that comes in and just talks about how the returns work and how you can exchange things. And I'll talk about that too in a second. Julia also sends this beautiful booklet. So you could also, you know, take a look if you want something for yourself. They've got stuff for men. They've got items for literally anyone. You can personalize items. So it is absolutely beautiful. They're, they're known for their engagement rings and their wedding bands. Oh my gosh, just so many beautiful pieces. So I'm excited to show you what I picked out for the mothers in my life. So there's this, um, this is the first one. Okay, so let's see what's in here. I like kind of remember what I got. Let's actually take all of these out. So I don't remember which is which. So let's start with what is in this bag right here. Okay, so this one I got for my mom and my sister Stephanie actually helped me pick it out. This is definitely my mom's style. My mom is very into vintage and she loves necklaces. So I will link all of these in the description in case you see this and you're like, I must have that. So my mom loves flowers and she loves vintage and like Victorian type things. And so I thought this would be perfect for her. Is that focusing there? I feel like that's focusing a little bit better with the black background, but it is just gorgeous. Okay, I'm always so worried I'm not doing these pieces justice because when I look at my phone, I'm like, oh, it doesn't look as like, shiny or like the colors aren't as vibrant it is seriously in person absolutely gorgeous my mom's gonna love this and it is on this like really delicate chain which i think is so classy absolutely stunning okay i say that so much when i'm reviewing things from julia <laughs> it's absolutely stunning i say it like so many times but it's so true like it is it's hard to think of another word for it because I just keep thinking in my head like, oh my gosh, this is so stunning. So this one is gonna be for my mother. All right, let's open this one next. We'll go in order of size. Oh, I know who this is for. So she was not a part of this process, but I did pick out this ring. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. While I open this, I'm gonna tell you about the return policy. So there's a tag on this ring. It cannot be returned if the tag is removed. So make sure that it fits and all of that. So this is actually a two piece set. Oh my gosh, I wanna keep this for myself. <laughs> I really do wanna keep this for myself. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is for my sister, Stephanie. She is just like such an amazing mama. And I just, I love watching her be a mom. Her girls are just such good kids and so respectful and so fun to be around. So I kind of wanted to spoil Steph and this is totally her style. So I know she's absolutely gonna love this. The band is like very delicate. I can't remember what this stone is called, but I'll have it in the description. I know she's gonna love it. She'll be so excited. She'll be like, you don't have to get me anything. It'll be like, it's fine. <laughs> I just don't think you can spoil mothers enough. I just realized I wasn't focused. I'm so sorry, you guys. 
Okay, so then this one is a bracelet and it is, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. This is so pretty. So this is like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a knot. And um, so I am going to give this to my sister, Anna. So my sister, Steph, has two girls and my sister, Anna, has two boys. And so I wanted to get her this because, I don't know, it just kind of looks like her style. And all the way around are these beautiful moissanite stones. So pretty. So I hope she likes it. She's got little tiny wrists. So I like that it's adjustable right here. I should have given you a spoiler a uh, spoiler alert, Anna. I don't know if I don't know if any of my family or friends watch my videos, so <laughs> I should have given a spoiler alert. I don't think she does, but um, if you're watching, Anna, Happy Mother's Day! You know what you're getting, so sorry about it. <laughs> okay, well, I just want to really quick wrap this up by saying thank you so much to Julia Jewelry for your generosity and just giving me the opportunity to bless three mothers in my life with such beautiful pieces of jewelry. So as always, I'll have a discount code in the description and links to all three of these items as well as their main website and some of the Mother's Day specials that they have going on. So make sure you check it out. Thank you again to Julia Jewelry. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I filmed a video right before this showing a bunch of products that are going to be dropping in the shop on Friday, April 26th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I am like feeling a little off my game here. Not super bad, but I just realized I forgot to put my cash in my cash tray. <laughs> so I think I was so excited to get to cash stuffing because I updated some of my setup, which you guys will see. And I think I'm just really excited. So this week, we are going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,655 into sinking funds and savings challenges. And I did double check my money before I started so we did not have a situation like last time. I double checked it to my teller slip. I should clarify by saying that. Um, by the way, these are officially restocked on the website. The beige, the black, and then the gray steel color. Oh, and then the budget binder inserts for A5 are also restocked. In case you missed my video, but definitely go back and watch the one I posted. It would have been yesterday, the day before this video. I talk about all the new products that are coming and the things that are being restocked. So, like I said, I did <laughs> double check all of this cash before starting, at least. I did that. Picked it up from the bank this morning. Got my coffee. What do you guys, do you guys do anything like that? Like your routine for cash stuffing? Like I always stop and get a Starbucks. It's kind of like my encouragement, like on days where I don't feel like driving all the way over to my bank. It's like, yeah, the Starbucks is over there. It's like, you know what, you're right, let's go. So let's go ahead and get started with our wallet. And no, you are not seeing things. You are not seeing things. This is not trickery. This is actually happening. Again, I talked about it in the video I posted yesterday, but this is the A6 Chic Wallet in black. So if you wanna hear all the deets on it, go watch that video. But of course I had to switch over immediately to this new wallet. And then I also need to grab my budget binder book, which these came in. So these will also be launching, but I need to get to my cash planning page. So this is what I'm going to be looking at off screen. So this is how I have planned all of my denominations. And also make sure you stick around to the end because I do have a little bit of happy mail to open. So I'm hoping I remember to do that. <laughs> I started cleaning up last time um, that I had happy mail to open. I like started cleaning up my setup and I was like, wait a second, I have happy mail to open. And then I started filming again to open it. But anyway, I'm gonna take out my receipts. We are gonna scan those into our Fetch Rewards app. And if you're new to the channel, Fetch Rewards is a rewards app where you scan in your receipts, those receipts turn into points, and then you can accumulate those points and redeem them for gift cards. So I like to get Amazon gift cards personally and buy stuff for the house, but you do you. You can get Starbucks gift cards, Target gift cards, whatever you want. So um, I'll leave my referral code up on the screen so it's easy to find. I'll also put it in the description, but we both get bonus points when you use that referral code and then scan in your first receipt. If you don't want me to have bonus points, don't use my code, okay? But if you do, then use my code because you don't get bonus points unless you use someone's referral code. Anyway, so let's start by just going through these envelopes here. I already emptied out my change because I just switched over to this wallet in the video I filmed right before this one. So for groceries, I only budgeted 10. 
I did end up spending all the money I had in here because we decided to have, um, oh my gosh, what did we decide to have? Oh, tacos, duh, always. We decided to have tacos and we were missing a bunch of ingredients, so I stopped to get them and basically spent all of the money in that envelope. Um, my personal spending money, I have 10 left over, so we'll stuff that into our savings challenges at the end. And then I am going to, oh, I'll definitely do that one, stuff my 25. This is personal spending money for the week. I can spend it on whatever I want. All right, eating out, we have $1. It's better than nothing. So eating out, I budgeted 40 for the week. So let's do, let's just do a 20 in here. Put the other 20 in the envelope that Chris and I share. Drinks, I'm gonna put a 20 in here. Kids, I budgeted, I did budget a 10. So let's go ahead and put that $10 in here. So um, if you guys watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago, I actually kind of featured Eli in, in one of the parts um, because it's a big part of my life. Eli is our seven-year-old. He is autistic and amazing. And um, there's some things that we've been working on, um, particularly like aggression in the car when we don't go to a place he wants to go. And um, so definitely go back and watch that vlog. It was my the one day in the life I ever made. But it was not that long ago that I that I uploaded it, but when he controls his aggression and like gets it together, if you know what I mean, I like to reward that. So I did take him to get a treat because he did a really good job calming himself. And so that's why most of that money is gone. Um, nails, we don't need to do anything with nails this week. Kindness and miscellaneous are still there. So we're gonna roll those over. So we are all set to go for the week. And I need to put my ID and my Target card in there, but we'll do that in a minute. So there you have it, new ASIC Chic Wallet coming to the shop. They do come with a black dash or a black flyleaf, but there is a limited amount. We have plenty of wallets, but the, the wallets with the flyleaf, there's a limited amount. But my Poppy wallets and the Sophie wallets are on their way. So they have been shipped, so they should be here. We'll probably launch those probably, well, not probably, they will be launched in May is my guess. I mean, as long as everything in shipment goes fine, but we have 65 big boxes coming. So it's a lot of things to process through. So that's why I'm saying May, because it might take us a while to get through processing all of those wallets and fly leaves and binders, but they are coming. So we're getting so close. I just want to say thank you guys for your patience with those, but let's go ahead and jump into our high priority sinking funds. I did also zoom the camera in just a little bit so that you guys could, I don't know, get a close up of some of the new things coming. But let's go ahead and stuff groceries. Oh, I already stuffed groceries. So I only budgeted 10. And so we have plenty in here. I'm not even gonna count it. We have like 95 or something. Fresh beef and pork. Oh, what? I guess we're not stuffing this. That's so weird. Why did I skip that? Interesting. We're skipping clothing too. Beauty is getting a 10. I don't think that was on purpose. I don't think I meant to skip that, but 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 10, and 20. Pet care is getting 20. So now we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, two, 10, and 20. So $220 in pet care. Chickens is getting a 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. I need to give you guys like a little bit of a update on the chickens or like introduce you. I've had me introduce you to the chickens. I've had you guys ask that and I haven't done that yet. Medical is getting 100. So we did spend quite a bit out of here paying a bill. One, two, three, 50, four, 50, 520 dollars. So now we're just going to work on building that amount back up. Copays is getting 35. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. Health is completely empty, so we're going to put a 50 in there. 
tax prep. So we did pay our tax bills. So we're going to start stuffing for next year. I'm going to do 50. I just wanted to get a good start on it since it's already end of April. Memberships is going to get $20. So now we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. $185 in memberships. And that is it for high priority. Next is low priority sinking funds. So eating out, we're gonna put 20 in here. I put 20 in my wallet. Same thing for drinks, we're gonna do 20. So now we have 60. I already stuffed my spending cash in my wallet, but we're gonna give Chris his $25. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 85, and 90. Date night, we did go on a date. So we'll start stuffing this again. We went and saw John Christ. He is a comedian. His show was so good. Family Fun is gonna get $40. So we're gonna actually take a little trip at some point this summer. Just like a small weekend, long weekend trip. So I'm gonna start kinda saving up for that. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. It's in Minnesota. Like we're not going to go far, but self-care is going to get $20. So now we have 40. Gifts is getting 20. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. I like to have like $300 in this envelope at least. Hockey rink is getting 10. I know I haven't stuffed this one in a while. 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 55. So 255 in hockey rink. We have a pond, like a really big pond on our property. And so Chris is going to try to build the rink on there. But I'm going to cash stuff anyway, just in case it doesn't work out. $10 in travel, so 20, 40, 50, 55. I'm gonna go see my mom this weekend, so I figured I'd stuff a little extra in there in case the kids wanna stop and get a treat. Canning is gonna get $20, so now we have 40. My sister and I are planning a canning date, so it's like a day where we just like spend the day canning. So we've got our list of stuff we wanna can all made up. Farmer's market, we're gonna do $10, so now we have 20. So we can, um, a lot of different things. Miscellaneous is going to get two fives. So now it has 110, 20, 25, 30, 35. We're, we want to can like salsa and spaghetti sauce, but we're going to wait until we have a bunch of tomatoes from our garden. But we do like to can taco sauce and there's a lot of other things like chocolate syrup that we're gonna can and then we are gonna do black beans and then we also make our own seasonings and spices and then um, put those in jars as well. So we got a whole list of stuff that we're planning on doing. So kids clothing now has 120, 40, 60, 70. In case you missed it, I put 10 in there. School expenses is also going to get a 10. I think we need to do a condensing next week. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Back to school. It's getting a 20. So now we have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, $660 in back to school. Birthday parties. Is getting a 20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105. Hockey is getting a 20. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145. So, you know, Liam, our nine year old, he's a big saver. He loves to save his money. So, oh, gymnastics is not getting stuffed. Each of the kids will get their five though. So Liam's been saving up his money for quite a long time. And a couple days ago got a four-wheeler, which he had a four-wheeler before that we got him for his birthday a few years ago. It was very 
old <laughs> and janky, but it ended up breaking down and like no one knows how to fix it. And so he saved up and we helped him a little bit, but for the most part, he bought this four wheeler and he had it for a day and like a screw, I don't know what happened, but a screw came out or a bolt, <laughs> like something happened to the brake pad because of the bolt came out. So they are taking it to get fixed today. And I'm just like, the poor kid like saves all this money, buys this like pretty nice four wheeler and then it like breaks right away. But 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 dollars for Liam. I'm like, welcome to adulthood, Liam. Story of my life. So Eli gets five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 dollars for Eli. Poor kid has like a field trip today and it is 35 degrees and so windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but it is so windy outside. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 for Rowan. And with some of Eli's sensory stuff, like he doesn't like to wear coats. And so he refused to wear a coat this morning. And I'm like, dude, you're going to be so cold. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 for Bristol. I think I might pull a little bit from each of the kids' envelopes and get a zoo pass for the year. So we can go to the zoo whenever we want to. And then kids miscellaneous. I already put a 10 in my wallet. So we're not going to stuff the envelope in their binder, but that's it for the kids. Next, we have our home binder. Oh, and by the way, I guess I had my new kids binder dashboard, but I also have a home binder dashboard. So those will be added to the shop on, on Friday with the product drop. So household is going to be getting a 20. So now we have 55. Seasonal lawn care is going to get 20 as well. So we have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 660, 670 in seasonal lawn care. Organizing is getting a 10, so we have 20. Home. It's getting 20, so we have 35 in home. Freeze dryer. It's getting 100. So we have 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, $1,100 saved up for the freeze dryer. Renovations. So we took all of this cash out so that Chris can finish our house. So that one does not have anything in it anymore. Pool is going to be getting 100. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars in pool. Garden is getting 20. So now we have 51, 150, 170 dollars in garden. And then seasonal decor, I'm gonna do 20 this week. I haven't stuffed this one for a while, but. One, two, 300, 350, 370, 380, $385 in seasonal decor. I might use this for my planters, I don't know yet. All right, next up is holiday sinking funds. This is our last sinking funds binder. So for Valentine's Day, we are going to do five. So we have 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 dollars in Valentine's Day. Easter, same thing, we're gonna do five. So we have 65 in here. Mother's Day, I'm gonna do 10 dollars for Mother's Day. So one, two, 250, 270, 290, 300, 310 dollars. Father's Day, I'm also doing $10 in this one. 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, $170 in Father's Day. Fourth of July, we're gonna do 20. What's going on? Okay, there we go. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 245. Halloween is getting five. Wait, 
I guess I'm skipping Halloween. <laughs> I didn't write it down, so maybe I was like, no, we don't need to do it this week. I don't know. It's fine. So Thanksgiving is getting five. So 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Cool. Cool, cool. Black Friday is getting 15. So now we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 85, 90, 195. Sure. Yeah, no. Is that all I have? No. I guess, I mean, we're trying to save up $500 by Black Friday, so I, I guess we're on track. Christmas is getting 50 as always. So 500, 6, 7, 8, 850, 9, 950. 970, 990, 1000. So we can swap all of this out for 1K when we do our cash condensing. New Year's Eve is getting five. So we have 100, 120, 125, 130. And then Seasons is still fully funded. So I could maybe pull out a Seasons 2 for like my planters, but it's kind of more for like activities. I guess it could be for anything. We've had $500 in there for so long. Like I've not been spending that money. So we'll figure something out for it. Next, we're going to jump into our savings challenges. And this is where you get to see some of the fun new things like the new dashboards. There's frosted, new frosted dashboards, a um, few new designs for A6 and A5 dashboards. So I decided to put dashboards in this savings challenge binder just to like make it prettier. So we have... $11 to add to our rollover savings challenge. So we'll add the ones into our $1 savings challenge. And we'll be counting this either next week or the week after. So, and then $5. And these clear zipper envelopes will be added to the shop on Friday as well. Just need to like make a little bit more room here. Nope, we have two fives to add. I just colored in one. All right, so that's it for our rollover savings challenge. Next, we'll do our 10K savings challenge. And these are like my favorite. So we've got some new frosted A6. And then this is one of our best-selling designs, the tropical design. So this is now going to be in an A6 as well. And I love these two layered on top of each other. And then these tabs. So the A6 tabs. They are so cute. And I think they work so well with the savings challenges. So let's jump over to April. And it looks like we are stuffing $220 for the last like a circle for April, the last week of April. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 700, 750, 770, 790, $800 for the month of April. pretty sure that was all blurry for you guys. I'm so sorry. My camera is not doing a very good job like finding and focusing lately. So <laughs> I'll make sure that doesn't happen here. I was trying to give you guys a close up of the tabs and then I think it never like refocused when I brought the binder back down. So I apologize for that. But this is the other layering situation that I absolutely love. So the savings challenges and then with this dashboard because I love the way that this dashboard complements the like gray of this binder. It's so pretty. So, okay, let's start with April. So this is the 5k savings challenge and we're going to be doing, let's see, $110. And shout out to Amanda who reminded me to clean off my trackers. I did do that. Okay, so for April, for the 5K, we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 
$380, dollars $395. Because we were missing that five from last week, but we made up for it by finishing up January. So I'm kind of playing catch up with this one. So I think I ended up putting 90 in here instead of 80. And then this week we are going to cash stuff February one and two. So 100, why do I have a $10 bill left over? Oh my gosh, 175 is what we're gonna be adding in here. And somebody asked me why I didn't just start at April and then do it like that way, like in order that way. And it's because I wanna finish both of these at the same time. So she was asking like, why don't you put April in the front and then just like work your way from there. So that's why, because I want to finish them at the same time. All right, I'm gonna try to figure out, ugh, these bills are like not great. See, this is why I complain about floppy bills because they don't go into the envelopes as easily. So let me see if I can figure out where this 10 is supposed to go. Okay, I found it. It's because I've never stuffed this envelope before. So it is in our low priority. And I must have just like skipped this line. So we're gonna start stuffing horses just little by little because why not start now? So I got $10 in there. <laughs> it's anytime I start a new envelope, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. And then it's just never ceases to amaze me how quickly things add up. So, okay, we've got a little bit of Happy Meal to open. So let me grab that. So we had two things sent to us and this one was sent first, so we'll open this one first. This is from Budgeting My Debts. Absolutely love her. This is what happens when I wait too long to open packages <laughs> or like check my PO box and like open things. So it says, get excited. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Emily just hopping by, oh cute, hopping by to say thank you. I've been extremely stressed this couple of weeks and seeing your video has been my therapy, especially the vlogs. I hope you don't mind me sending you a little happy meal. Love you, Yancy. Yancy, you are the best. Thank you so much. So let's look at these. Oh, and the sticker is so cute. Oh my gosh. One day at a time. Again, my camera is not behaving, but it says one day at a time. And then a super cute savings challenge tracker. So it has little icons and then it just tells you how much to save and you can mark them off. This is so cute and really good quality. So thank you so much, Yancy. This was so incredibly thoughtful of you. All right, and then this one is from Steph at Sassy Peanut Budgets. You guys, um, I don't know if you saw it or not. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have, but she, sent me a really sweet package. She just recently started her business and so I did an unboxing over on Instagram of all of her super cute stuff. This is so pretty. It says, happiness is in full bloom. Oh my gosh, stop it, more cute stuff. All right, so it says, hey Emily, thank you so much for the happy mail. You literally made me cry opening it. I wasn't expecting that. I wanted to send you this card as a thank you and also congratulations on your new home. I always wanted a farmhouse with horses. Horses are my absolute favorite. Me too, Steph, me too. For one of my favorite YouTubers, stop it. I find peace and calmness watching your channel. You are a true inspiration. I'm so sorry to hear about the passing of your chocolate lab. I had a black lab named Rambo. What a cute name. And he passed away one month after having my daughter in 2021. Just remember, you'll always have those special memories and paw prints touching your heart. It's so true. Love, Steph with an F. We always say that, Steph with an F, because that's how my sister spells her name too. Steph with an F, Sassy Peanut Budget. So go check her out on Instagram. These are super cute. Make sure this is focusing because my camera's not behaving today. So super cute, really good quality, beautiful savings challenge. It's like customized so you can decide what you want it to look like. Stop it, you sent me gnome stickers. You guys are so funny. Oh my gosh, my love for gnomes. This is so, these are so cute. All these super cute gnome stickers. Oh, and puppy stickers. It's a lab and a German shepherd because that's what we have. Well, we had a lab but she's in heaven with my other dog now. And then, oh my gosh, this is so cute, this little German Shepherd. German Shepherds are the best, they're my favorite. Okay, so here is all of Stephanie's 
info. So she's on Etsy and she's got her Instagram. So screenshot this. And then she's got, she sent me a placeholder here. Super cute. Oh, and then more savings challenges. These are so awesome, Steph. These are so awesome. Oh, and I love the horse on there. <laughs> Have a cuddle. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I love your stuff, Steph, seriously. Thank you for sending me these things. That was so generous of you. And I'm so glad that you loved your happy mail that I sent you. Oh my gosh, and my camera, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna make sure this doesn't happen again. I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Usually this doesn't happen, but I feel like I had a lot to show in this video. So I was all like up and down. If you have stuck around this long, will you put three black heart emojis in the comments? Cause I wanna see who's stuck around um, just out of curiosity. But I just wanna say thank you to all of you. Um, we recently hit 30K. I just saw that this morning and I was like, how, why this is amazing. Like, I cannot thank you guys enough. It is just so exciting because you guys know I have a huge goal to get to 100K because I want to get Liam that um, silver play button. He really wants it. So I'm going to let him hang it in his room. And yeah, so I just want to say thank you guys. Um, there will likely be a giveaway coming up. So make sure you subscribe so that you can be entered into that giveaway. I'm just, I've got to plan the giveaway, but I'm going to do that after I have this huge product drop. So stay tuned because we have a giveaway coming and it's going to be a bunch of items from the shop. So if you've been eyeing up some stuff, definitely want to get part of that giveaway. But I just want to say thank you to you guys. And I just... I'm so grateful for all of you and for supporting my channel, supporting the aesthetic dollar. I absolutely love what I do. I'm so passionate about it and it's because of you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it blessed you in some way and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Have a great week, you guys.